Hi everyone, uh, my name is Martin and I'm going to prepare a screen recording of the YMPS education app. It's to show you all the features that are included in the app and then we can think then about how we can use some of these features in our app. So hope you enjoy our screen recording. So we're going to start by looking at the app icon. After naming the app, the children then needed to think about their design for the app icon. So here you can see they've chosen a red background that fades as it gets towards the top, and then they've actually drawn their design. Um, they can start by drawing on paper and then photographing that and using it for reference, but we do need to have a digitized drawing so we're able to include that onto the app. So we need to make sure that our design isn't too complex. Um, lots of thought needs to, to go into um, the, the app because it's going to be the first thing that people will see. So this is what, how we've chosen to create the app icon for the YMPS Education app. So when we go on to the app, the first screen that we see um, it's called about. Now what I want to draw your attention to is the, the bottom of the page and there's a tab bar. Um, the tab bar allows us to easily move between pages, which we call UI views, which are user interface views. So considerations for our app is going to be the colors. So we can see there's a nice red and black uh, background. I think that complements the school badge. And then the actual drawing and design has been created by the children. Um, they've had to think about the font and, and the header, making that look nice. And then they've been able to add text. Let's go on to a view which moves, and we call those type of views a scroll view. So when we're designing an app, we're going to have to take these into consideration and think in how we can best display text within the app. So I've gone on to the second page and I want to draw your attention again to the tab bar controller and we can see there are different icons. The first icons are called SF symbols, which means San Francisco symbols, and they are produced by Apple for developers to use within the app. But the little drawings, we call those glyphs and they've been produced for the children. So we need to decide are we going to use FS symbols, um, glyphs or, or a combination of both. So within the page, it says four characters. I can tap on to about Ellen and there's some text, um, some color background and some drawings made by the children. And the same for the different characters. And obviously they change because the characters colors change as well. We could include an interactive map where this is a live map where we can change the toggle and then that relates to the place on the, on the um, on the map so again a really interactive tool and finally we could include as well a live twitter feed so this is a feed from the school and as the school tweets that goes into the app so making sure that the app is current so i'm moving now across the tab bar and we are onto the page for Enterprise in Erin. And this is where we can basically display video content that you will be making. So for example, if I tap onto Erin message, there's some text there, there's some the colors are, are matching up. But if I tap onto Erin's video message, there's a video that's been created using green screen. So we could possibly include that into the app as well. So let's have a look. So that was a fantastic video and she was actually reading text of an auto um, which is on the iPad. So she didn't have to remember all that text. She was reading that. So that's a really uh, professional skill. And then there are some stories that have been written by the children. They've gone out, they've taken photographs. So I'll just tap onto one story a second. 
and we can have a listen um, but we can make videos in lots and lots of different ways to be able to explain um, anything we want to use in video. So I'll just tap there. So I'll just stop there and you'll be able to um, download the app and watch all the videos. But you can see all the hard work that goes into creating the stories, making sure the text is correct, and then adding the audio and making sure there's lots of expression used as well. So lots and lots of skills. So we can add our videos. And then what we can think of using as well is called task cards. So the children create task cards and they live blog into the app. So as they change the task cards, then these change um, directly into the app. So the app will always be up to date and we can always share different ideas and different um, tasks for children to be able to complete. So this is what the children in Astro Marek did for there, so we could possibly include that in our app as well. And the format for Ella is very similar. And then Harry and Alid as well. So each of those have got messages, they've got stories and they've got task cards. The next view shows the um, YMPS app team. So these are the children uh, who built the app. So there's a horizontal scroll view that shows pictures of the children. And we've got um, images that they, they've taken from school and put some nice circles around them. And there's also a vertical scroll view as well. So we could put pictures of everybody involved in making the app, or we could even get digital drawings that you create um, instead of pictures. So we can decide that as part of our process, but it's nice to celebrate everybody who's been involved in creating the content for the app. So I've tapped onto more and I'm going now to a really exciting section, which is called AR, which means augmented reality. So I'm going to tap onto AR there's a little bit of text and information on the side explaining what AR is and how we could potentially use it. But if I push down to the bottom, I can tap onto a button, which brings up this screen. So I'm able to access the camera. And you'll notice on the bottom, there's a horizontal slide view and there are lots and lots of drawings. These drawings have been created by the children. So if you want to display them in AR, I can tap onto a drawing, tap onto tick, and there we can see my drawing um, being displayed in augmented reality. So we may decide now I want to put another character on the table. I can tick that there. So I can build up a scene. Um, it's a mixture of the digital world and the real world coming together. Augmented reality um, is really exciting and we will be able to include that in our app. And obviously the children in Astro Marek have included it in theirs. page is a tool that um, all children can use if they need to reduce their stress or their, or their anxiety. So what the children do is they breathe in and out in time with the animation and you can make them focus and relax. So if they're struggling to go to sleep late at night, they could potentially use this before they go and make them relax. So the final section of our app is called blogs. So on the left hand side, we've got 
a vertical scroll view and horizontal scroll view. So there are buttons that we'll be able to tap. So if I tap onto Zach's there, we can see there are pages that have been created by the children. Now, what's special about these pages are that the children have written all the Swift UI code that goes into making this page work. And they've also been able to add the animation. So real coding, code that they've written included within the app. And then the second part is that each of the children in the team have their own blog. So they were able to blog what they did throughout the project and could go back and read and remember all the things we did along the way. So lots of different features. I um, hope you enjoyed looking at their app and uh, we can think about how we can include some of these in our app.